Guru Nation, we are breaking and interrupting with this important interview with the man himself, the G-O-W, not in my house. Not in my house. What's up, man? You know what it is, baby? What's up, G and T B? Not in my house. Not in my house. I want you to tell I want you to give the people people your message, man. We're just talking about um we're just talking about the Dynasty and Keeper League Bill. You and the council are going to be coming up with something for us to look over. We're going to have a vote in the off season. It's still a lot of time, but time's going to go by fast. Okay, okay, man. So as one third of the council, um, I think that we really need to act on this now and figure out if we're going to go into a full-on dynasty or we're going to do a keeper. So my my little two cents on this is we should get our feet wet first and get into that keeper right now. Um, we need to establish how many people we're going to keep or if we're going to go into a dynasty. So we'll be having a voting really, really soon. Are you so saying that we should that transition into a keeper? Are you? Uh, maybe we haven't talked about this. Should we transition into a keeper and then transition into a dynasty? Should we have a like a... a Exactly. That's exactly what I was saying. We should do a keeper. I mean, this is just my opinion on it. There's been a lot of training going on, and, and I don't think gurus know how badly that affects your future in a full-on dynasty. Dynasty, we're supposed to keep all our players. We go into a, you know, a five-man keeper league, get our feet wet. Gurus will kind of understand us how what's going to come for the future. So I think that would be fair for everybody. I don't know. we got to figure out what everybody thinks about it. Do you think that the 16 guys we have now are dynasty ready do you think we might have to there's been talk and rumors about uh ruben well, rodriguez trying to make his return like a la ricky williams uh we're gonna have to cross that bridge when it comes man i mean if all 16 managers are coming back i was gonna get ruben in here but to answer your question no i really with all the trading that's been going on i mean that just proves gurus ain't ready for this dynasty i'm not gonna call any names or nothing like that but you guys have messed up your future if we're going into a dynasty Next the, year. And those guys were. So I'm kind of just trying to help people out, you know, to get have a fair match. We want to start dynasty clean slate, but I don't want to mess up all the crews that have put in their work for their trading, the draft picks, and all that. I don't think that's fair. Okay. We just need to. Quickly, let's talk okay. about your. Before we go, let's talk about your team. Your team is a stunner. I don't think anyone expected <laughs> you to do what you've done in the first four weeks of the season. With the players you got, I think what was your first draft pick was in the sixth round or something like that. Are you even a little bit surprised at your team? I mean, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, gotta say you gotta, look, gotta be a little bit lucky in fantasy too, right? But I just stuck to my board and trusted my logic. And with all these guys that had these first two first two seconds, how come my team is number one in scoring? Wow. Wow. Oh, y'all talking all that shit, man. You ain't about that life, That's boy. That's a good point. Who, so, out of those guys, they just played this week. We know who won. Edgar versus Aaron. Aaron won. Aaron's talking that smack right now. He earned it. But which team do you think is better out of those two? We thought they were going to be monsters. I mean, they have good teams. We, they do have good teams. Honestly, who's better? honestly, they're both beatable. They're both beatable. Wow, wow, wow. Everybody knows that by now. But oh, if man. I was to pick one team right now... And going forward, I would have to pick Edgar's. And I trust Edgar's logic a little bit better than Aaron. Wow. So well, I'm, I'm taking into consideration making moves, picking up free agents. No, right. I think Edgar's a little bit more witty. You have, the red, winning, you have the red pill, you have the blue pill. <laughs> Two yeah, different pick, Okay, <laughs> and then lastly, this week's matchup of the week, I said it's going to be the Loco and D-Hawk because the Loco is still undefeated, but he has bye weeks. What do you think about the Loco? Is he is this luck or is the Loco real? No, the Loco is real, man. The Loco always been real, man. He always drafts well. Is gonna, the uh, Loco? It's a little tough matchup with all these buys, so we'll see what happens. I but feel like real, man. I feel like the Loco. Not the Ralph, man. I feel like the Loco is like Eli and Geo's like Peyton. <laughs> right, they're the brothers. Geo <laughs> Geo gets more of the attention. The loco just you know does his thing, but he's been good. You're right, you're right about that. Geo mm. does get a little more attention. And Ralph goes <laughs> under the radar, but Geo's got the Ralph, championship. Ralph proved himself, man. Ralph okay, proved. shout out to boy Ralph. Okay, all right. So the guru of the week, you got big game this week. Try to go four and one. 
see if your team is real. Is as real quickly is anyone on the block? Because the people trying to make trades before the deadline. Do you offering anyone for for the right price? Every, everybody's on the block, man. Wow. Everybody's on the block for the right price. Everyone. Like, give me something I can't turn down. <laughs> okay, man. All right. Salute to you, man. Good luck this week. All right. Salute, GNTV.